Forgive me, internet, and forgive me, Father, for I will be sinning today. Okay, well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is it's the weekend. That's all, that's the whole, that's all the good news. The bad news is what's about to happen. Every once in a while, the internet uses their collective brain cells to come together and celebrate something so awful that one can't really help but join in on said celebration. And that's kind of what, what I'm doing today. There was this just absolute god awful video, travesty of a Twitter video of someone doing unspeakable acts to a hot dog and then pouring eggs into that remnants of hot dog and then making a waffle out of whatever you want to call it at that point and then pouring beer cheese on top of all, all the, just the stack of them. There was like a hundred. And I remember with watching that and thinking, wow, I really should get off the internet for today because that is enough for me. And then my next thought was, I would never make that, <laughs> like ever. I would never make that until Jenna over my shoulder said, hey, that actually looks pretty good. And so that was just kind of the beginning of the end for me. So here we are. Uh, I'm gonna make just the most awful, terrible, disgusting thing I've ever made here. Yes, banana peel pulled pork included. This is, this is worse, this is worse. I'm calling it right now. I'm going to re resent myself for the rest of my life for doing this, but it's too late now. I have the ingredients, okay? It's literally cheese, hot dog, beer, and some sort of egg. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could just like fast forward this part so that, um, well, I don't know. I just don't want to be here. <laughs> I also don't know what the grocery store clerk was thinking when I was purchasing cheddar shredded cheese and paper clips at the same time. But then again, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't the weirdest thing. Maybe I had a school assignment due and just really wanted some cheese. Anyway, usually now I say, join me on this journey so we can do it together. But I'm gonna go ahead and say, save yourself and leave what you can. <laughs> because we're gonna be making something awful. Just truly terrible today. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go into Twitter and search hot dog waffle and then quickly delete it from my search history. Oh God, okay, so, um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, first things first, let's open this package of soon to be defiled plant-based hot dogs and we'll set this bowl aside. I just, uh, I don't know. Okay, so at the start of the video, he really did one of these. He really said, hey y'all, welcome to the channel and then went, <laughs> That's what he fucking did. I swear to God. Oh God, why? Okay, I'm just gonna put these on the counter and we are gonna take, this is fucking terrible. We're gonna take our paper clip and we are going to literally just try to take strips off of this hot dog so that we can put them in here and then turn it into just the worst thing on planet earth. Um, I'm assuming we'll get like at least four or five strips per hot dog, so it should be enough. And also we're not gonna make this the leaning tower of disgusting pizza, okay? We're gonna make maybe a couple and then put the cheese on and then literally move on with our life, okay? I just, we're, we're gonna do it and get out. Uh, well, here we go. Okay, that works surprisingly well. Why did someone think to do this? Why did someone think to do this? And why did that work? Oh God, okay. This is fucking awful. This paper clip is cursed forever. I can throw it out, I can recycle it. Wherever this paper clip ends up and whatever it becomes a, a part of in its future endeavors is gonna be cursed. The ghost of hot dog waffles past. Okay, now after like three strips, it's starting to fall apart kind of. This just, this is unspeakable what I'm doing right now. This is unspeakable. Look at this, it's disgusting. Okay, that hot dog is finished. Oh God. On to the next one, I guess. I don't think they teach you this technique in culinary school, so this one's on the house. You're welcome. All right, so 
It's actually the perfect distance from end to end on this size hot dog to say the sentence, I really, really hate myself, and then you're done, and then it finishes. So it's a good timing mechanism to, uh, to make sure you're getting the right size. I really, really hate myself. Oh yeah, perfect, works every time. I would say that making this a plant-based version of whatever disgusting thing this is makes it less gross, but I don't think there's really any winning for anyone in this recipe. You can make it less gross, sure, but we're still losers. <laughs> we're still losing here. This is not a win for anyone. Watch me eat my words. Watch this be like actually really good. There's no way. It can't be good. Nope, just straight up nope. <laughs> Okay, so I only have a couple more passes to do of defiling these hot dogs. And then we'll be on to adding our just egg mixture to do our best at making this in, in some sort of cohesive form to where we can put it on a waffle iron and turn it into a hot dog waffle. Uh, also, in the video, I'm not sure you know if, if they didn't include steps in the video that were actually part of the recipe or whatever, but in the video, they literally pour shredded cheese into a pot and then beer. Those are the ingredients they use and it's in their entirety. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do exactly that. And if everything breaks and nothing works and the cheese is gross, well, I'm blaming the recipe because that's what it told me to do. I mean, even the world's best beer cheese wouldn't save this recipe, right? Like there's no way. Who thought to do this with a paper clip? It's just so dirty. Okay, well, that one didn't work. Oh God. This is a hot dog graveyard right here. Let's just throw all of this in the trash. I am so sorry. <sighs> okay, so I think we should make the waffles and then we can, um, once they're settled, we can make the beer cheese and just be done. But let's do it in that order so the beer cheese isn't sitting around. I'm going to grab the old waffle iron and plug her in and I'll turn it on level three. And so what we're gonna do here is I'm going to shake up our egg here and we are going to just pour it in. Let's just do it. Okay, so I don't know how much egg we need, but I think this is about enough. And I also think that we're just gonna be able to make one because we don't have a million hot dogs and we're not gonna make, like I said, we're not gonna make this giant tower that they made. I think I'm gonna spray it down. I don't know. This is non-stick, but. Actually, we'll just get the cheese going back here. I'm gonna turn it on medium and pop a bunch of cheese in here. We're gonna pop open our beer. Sorry about what's about to happen. Sounds like it's heating up, so I think we're just gonna give this a go. Ugh, yikes, okay. I just want this to be over. This is not right. This is not right at all. This is wrong. I, I hate myself right now. This is so gross. The egg is like spilling out the side. There's no way this is gonna stay together in one cohesive form. Okay, let's just pour some fucking beer in here. I'm gonna stir this up. I know how to make beer cheese and that is not it, but I'm following the recipe, so it is what it is, you know? This is actually like sort of working, I think. Like one of the things I thought when I watched this video was like, how is it taking the form of a waffle? Shouldn't the hot dog like strings just kind of be growing? But the egg actually, I think, fills it out and makes it turn into a cohesive like almost bread. Oh God, so many gross words in this recipe. How are we doing over here, cheese? Jada, this is gross. I also don't know how long I'm supposed to put this in here for. It already feels like it's been too long. Like the whole time has been too long. I shouldn't be doing this. This sticker is not sticking. Sorry, Neetude. I don't think it's supposed to be on here. Nope. Needs a little more beer. Needs a little more beer. <laughs> this is like beer we're pouring on top of a waffle of a hot dog, dude. 
Oh my Lord. What am I looking at? <laughs> what am I looking at? Dude, this is like obscene what I'm looking at here. It's like a red waffle, but it's red because of hot dog, dude. <laughs> oh God. It's actually kind of grossing me out, but let's just try to get it out of here if we can. Oh my Lord. This poor, poor waffle iron. I'm gonna unplug you. Not from life, just from power. God. Okay, we'll clean this mess up. I'm gonna do my best at cutting this and stacking them because we need to have some sort of tower because that's what was in the video. We're trying to recreate it as accurately as possible. So we're gonna start stacking. <sighs> okay, are y'all ready? Last little bit of beer to make it nice and loosey goosey. This is one final apology and here we go. Deep breath. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay. Oh God, I'm gonna puke, dude. Way less gross than I thought it was gonna be, but somehow still just so repulsive. Jenna, you need to try this. Oh my God, I really wish I hadn't made this. It like, the hot dogs didn't cook all the way through. It's just like, especially the ones on the inside that weren't like directly up against the, the griddle, were not cooking through. Like the only redeeming thing about this was the beer cheese, which somehow turned out really delicious, even though it was literally just shredded cheese and beer. Good to know for future use, I guess. I'm taking another bite. Ask me why, I don't know. I feel like I, I owe you this at least. Yeah, no. Smells like nasty. Oh, God. Oh, Julian. Oh, God. I don't know what I've done. Oh, no. Oh, no, baby. What is you doing? <laughs> Somebody needs to take this kitchen away from me. Oh, oh. Yeah, the consistency is gnarly. It's like It smells kind of good. I don't know why. Wait, there's something wrong with the cheese. I honestly, <laughs> I don't hate it. Yes, it's on top of a hot dog waffle. That is what's wrong with it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I hate it. I don't hate it. I hate it. I saw the video. I don't think that's how you make beer cheese. It tastes like raw alcohol. That's what they did in the video. I know. It's like shredded cheese and beer, and that's what it is. It's like a half of a fucking beer. Well, because you've made beer cheese before. Yeah, it's not just two steps. You don't just pour beer into cheese. Well, I mean, it worked. <laughs> I don't know. It tastes like really beery, like raw beer. It's the only redeeming thing about this, that thought, I'm getting drunk while I have to deal with it. I thought beer cheese is like you let it cook down a little, so it's like... Tastes good. I did this in the same exact way that they should. Look how gross that is. That's I like a red waffle. I don't, I don't hate it. I just like hot dog. Uh-oh. It definitely needs like some bread. Oil. Yo, it's keto. It's fine. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Waffle Iron, for what I just put you through. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Grace. Oh, I'm Grace. Make a layup. Well, at least one of us is enjoying this. I mean, this is just... It's definitely not right. It's not right. Oh, I'm gonna redeem myself in a second. Who so. invited them? <laughs> You're not supposed to, those are off I camera. I like them. There's some potatoes off camera Jenna's seeing. You're uh, not supposed to see them yet. I like them. I'm okay. supposed to leave because I, I don't mind it. Yeah, you can leave and take your nasty meal with you. For all the times that you've looked at me while I'm eating something that you think is nasty, I finally understand what that feels like. You're nasty and this, you, you need Jesus. This just appeals to my white trash side, you know? <laughs> this is this, this is what a garbage plate shit out of itself. <laughs> this appeals to, to my ancestors that cut off the top of birthday cards so that they can reuse them and write happy birthday to someone else and then keep mailing them shorter and shorter <laughs> cards each year. You know what? You should take this to Nick Tahoe's and see what they think. Maybe they'll add it to the menu. It needs some work. Like, I definitely think it could use other things in here. Like this it's is- It's the keto garbage plate. This is not good, but it's like, good I just like hot dogs. All right, well, take it with you. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just gonna move it over here. Just as long as it's away from me. Oh, Julie doesn't like the white trash meal. Yum, yum, yum.
I like hot dogs. It tastes like hot dogs and cheese. It's good. You know the the uh, the paperclip method yeah. worked perfectly. I don't know who so thought of that. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's over. Okay, we're free, and we're never gonna think about it again, and we're not gonna talk about it again. It's done. Now what I want to do is improve on it because literally anything that we could do in the kitchen would be an improvement from that. So we are gonna make our own little breakfast sandwich with a real waffle. And uh, we are gonna make our own uh, breakfast sausage and I have something special to show you and what we're gonna use for the egg, which I'm excited about. So first things first, we're gonna compile these ingredients which is just pancake slash waffle mix, oat milk, oil, some spices for the sausage and then egg replacer for baking. We're gonna take one of our uh, Beyond Sausage Links and we are going to add some spices to it and then mash it up. What I have in here is some everything spice, um, paprika, red pepper, chili flakes, onion, and garlic powder. And we are just going to just kind of mix this around. Yes, I cleaned this spatula. And I think between the everything bagel seasoning as well as the onion and garlic, this really kind of gives the sausage a breakfast patty flavor. Little tip, if you're trying to make your own breakfast patty, you take like a regular sausage and add those things. And uh, let's turn on our griddle. We're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil right in there. And now we're gonna take this with our hand and just shape it into a patty. So a homemade plant-based breakfast patty. That is kind of what we're working with here. We're gonna just pop this onto the griddle, get the oil around, and pop the sucker down. All right, so while this uh, sausage patty is firming up, just make sure it stays together, we're gonna take some tater tots that I have found in my freezer and do the same here in terms of mashing, but we are going to not need to season them. We're just gonna mash them into a little kind of hash brown patty and hope hope it stays together. That's the hope here. How will we make this stay? Hmm. Uh-oh, it's not staying. Actually, we're gonna share the pan space here with our hash brown. Hopefully this doesn't completely crumble. If it does, oh well, we tried. All right, I'm going to flip our sausage patty could have done that a little sooner, I suppose. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put the cheese. Hmm, yeah, let's put the cheese on now. We're gonna take some de cheddar and put it on top of the sausage patty. Really need to figure out how to make this, this uh, potato situation work for us. Cause right now it's working for itself, it's rogue. Yeah, that's, a bit of a mess, but maybe as it cooks, it will kind of stay together. It's not gonna get worse than that. We're gonna take this oversized topper right here. We are now gonna take our tiny whisk and whisk together some baking egg replacer and set this aside. And then we are going to make our waffle batter. So we're gonna take some waffle mix, some oat milk, and some oil, as well as our egg replacer. And we're gonna set that aside. And above the pot, we are gonna whisk together or mix with a spatula, our waffle batter. This is gonna serve as our bread for this breakfast sandwich because we have to stay true to the waffle theme because of the crimes we committed earlier. I'm kind of whisking this with just the spatula, but it's kind of working anyway, so. Yeah, I think this kind of worked perfectly. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, home, this um, hash brown and just plop it on this plate right here, pretending it's completely fine. And then we're gonna take the breakfast sausage patty and do the same. And now I'm excited because we have a brand new product that I got sent in the mail as a wonderful gift from the folks over at Just. They sent me their new folded vegan egg, which comes like this. So it is like the egg for an egg sandwich that you want already in the form that you want it in, which is really dope. So I'm gonna keep this low so as not to burn this brand new product that I was so generously sent. We're gonna pop this open. This is pretty damn cool. This is really feels like an egg, like really does. So we're gonna put one down and two down and let those cook up a bit.
Okay, well, I think we've redeemed ourselves because like I said earlier, there's literally no getting worse than right here. This is rock bottom. This was hot dog bottom. And here is what we made. This is a proper breakfast sandwich with the new Whoa. just egg folded version, which is literally brand new. It's not even out yet. And they sent me some, which is dope, right? Dude, I'm on the list. You wanna take a bite? Get, get this shit out of here. That, after I ate that, I started to feel sick. Yeah. I shouldn't have eaten any of it. So this it just, is- It like, makes your mouth taste like a beer. Oh God. It's so big. You wanna cut it? Go ahead, do it to him. No, we need a cross section, you're right. The waffle might be a little bit fall apart wow. but- Wow, fun, Julie. A little breakfast sangy. What's the sauce? It's the um, aioli that you like. <gasps> wow. Oh, oh no. Oh, we gotta make a layup. Oh, that is so much better than what you just made. <laughs> so this is homemade waffle mm. with the folded just egg, homemade breakfast patty, potatoes, and the aioli. <laughs> with cheese. What do you think? Yep. Pretty bomb? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is 10 million bajillion times better than that. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I eat this whole thing? Yeah, it's all yours. I feel like I owe you after feeding you that abomination. So good. I can't tell you how excited I am to have like just a patty of egg that you can oh. kind of plop down and mm -hmm. cook. You don't have to like pour it anymore. Oh my God, it's really good. It's good? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. Just like the Phoenix, we have risen from the ashes, except our ashes are Burnt hot dogs and a really, really sad waffle iron. Why is it sad? Because we just defiled it. Should I call Law and Order SVU? Dun dun. Was this paperclip? It has your fingerprints on it. <laughs> we were just helping her get up with your, with your penis. penis. Anyway, I had to do it to him a little bit because that first recipe, there was not a lot of doing it to him involved. You out of here? All right. It's like that vine. Oh, sorry, thank you. It's like that vine. Peace disappears. Get your toe socks out of here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this ride. Earlier I told you to leave because you didn't want to stay for what was going to happen. But if you made it this far, I commend you. And I thank you. And I worry about you. <laughs> Anyways, if you're going to make any of my recipes, don't make this one. Well, you can make the breakfast sandwich, but don't make the hot dog waffle. Definitely don't tweet it at me if you make it. I need to go think about what I've done. Thank you all for joining me. Next week, we're gonna get real festive with it. Uh, we have some English comfort food as well as a uh, certain dessert that's popular this time of year. So I appreciate you sticking with me and I will, uh, I'll see you next week. Just tell me it's gonna be okay sandwich. Tell me, tell me everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs>